You caught me. Uh, yes, officer. I was just trying to steal some credit card details and electricity. Whilst I'd like to think that the world is full of well-meaning people, unfortunately, there is always a dollar to be exported somewhere and a vulnerability to disrupt vital infrastructure. Which is why you have good Samaritans, like white hat hackers. They're typically cybersecurity experts, and like my brother's one, hi Andrew if you watch them, and they perform penetration testing and other methodologies to see if companies' products, software, hardware, is actually safe from nasty people. And thankfully this last week, we learned that UK cybersecurity company Pentest Partners identified several vulnerabilities in programming of six home electric vehicle charging brands, as well as a large public EV charging company. And I mean large. Here's some details. Home chargers, Wallbox, EV Box, Project EV, EO Charging's EO Hub, and EO Mini Pro 2 were all found to have significant weaknesses that will enable someone to hijack a user's account, stop charging, or even get this, turn the charger into a backdoor into the homeowner's network. The reasons were many, with full, de full details in the link below, is especially either, it was essentially because of either sloppy coding or use of like Raspberry Pi chipboards that have known weaknesses and vulnerabilities. I mean, seriously, Raspberry Pi, can, can, you, can you remind me again why we paid more than a thousand dollars for these things? The big story here is that they found it might be possible to hack in to charge point. Yes, this massive company with 150,000 chargers across the US, Europe and elsewhere, plus quite possibly hundreds of thousands of user accounts. Pentest partners identified that they could attach one user's account to another and obtain a free charge on someone else's money. Imagine that. What What do you mean I charged 20 times last month? How much? Yikes, right? This exploit is bad on many levels and it goes something like this. Public charging companies might use Open Charge Point Interface or OCPI so that a user with one account on one charge provider's system can use another provider system and it be cross build. Think of it like international roaming for smartphones. But through, through, but through some simple hacking, the consequences of this are remarkable, such as theft of electricity by an account compromise preventing maybe a legitimate user from charging by sending messages to stop the charger and a huge one stopping charging across many chargers. I should note that Pentest partners notify manufacturers and charge point and most issues have been resolved. However, not all of them have. So please have a read of this article. Make sure you've updated your charger's firmware and stay on top of your bill. Check it regularly and ensure that there's no erroneous charges in there.